Hey guys, this is a prompt tutorial and it is inspired by old Hollywood glam. So if you want to find out how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Thanks! First off, we're using Maybelline's Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. This is a great primer to use, especially for an occasion like prom, because since it doesn't have any SPF in it, we don't want any discoloration or the face becoming too bright or white when using flash in pictures. For foundation, we're using Kat Von D's Lock It Tattoo. This is in the shade Light 45. And what you're going to want to do is just dab this all into the areas that we're going to be buffing it out. This is a full coverage foundation. It is very heavy. It is also a 24 hour wear. So this is perfect for an occasion or an event like prom where you need your makeup to last all through the night. And just taking a flat top kabuki brush, you're going to be buffing this out on the areas, spreading it all the way down towards your neck and jawline and also a little bit on the earlobes. For concealer, we're using Max Pro Longwear Concealer. This is in the shade NW20. And just taking a Real Techniques foundation brush, we're going to be just applying this under the eye area, bringing it down towards the sides of your nose and then out towards your temples. Next, we're going to be using CoverGirl's Clean Invisible Concealer. This is in the shade Fair. And we're going to be using this concealer as a highlight, so we're going to apply this under the eye to help lift and brighten. And we're also going to be using this on the cupid's bow, the bridge of your nose, center of your chin, forehead, and the size of your jawline. Then using the same kabuki brush that we used to spread out our foundation, we're going to be using the same brush to buff out the concealer and our highlight. Since it already has a little bit of color from the foundation, it makes the whole blending process a lot easier. Then taking a Real Techniques Expert Face Brush, we're just going to use this brush to help spread out all the concealer and the highlight that we got into those tight spaces such as the, corner, the inner corners of your eye and the sides of your nose. Then taking Max Paint Pot, this is in the shade Soft Ochre. We're going to be using this as our eyeshadow base. This is great because it helps your eyeshadows last and also prevents them from creasing. So just applying this with a concealer brush and then taking our fingers, we're just going to spread this evenly over our lid. And then for the eyebrows, we're going to be using Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. I am in the shade Dark Brown and we're first going to be brushing down all of our eyebrow hairs with a spoolie before applying any of the product. So what I like to do is first outline the bottom side of the brow and repeating the process on the top side and just trying to focus the color on the tail of the brow because I like that gradual increase from the inner corner all the way to the outer corner of the brow. I just feel like it looks a little bit more natural and don't worry about having to be perfect because we're going to go back in there with concealer and you're going to see here that I'm going to be using a Mary Kay concealer. This is in the color Ivory 2 and with just using that and a concealer brush, you can clean up any edges, making it sharper, cleaner, really customizing whatever shape you want for your brows. And then taking some Mary Kay translucent powder, we're going to press this onto our face just for some extra shine control. Then taking the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette. 
We're going to be taking the color Foxy and just applying this all over the lid area and getting into the inner corners to work as a highlight as well. Then taking another Urban Decay palette, this is the Vice 2 palette, and we're using the color Strike and applying it wet, spraying on some Mary Kay finishing spray and a flat shader brush. This helps add a metallic sheen to the color and helps it stand out even more so. And we're just applying this all onto the lid area. This is a beautiful shade of gold. It has all the right amounts of glitter and sparkle. So it's gonna create a really nice brightening effect and it's gonna give a nice sparkle when we apply it and focus the color on the center of our lid. Then taking a fluffy crease brush, we're gonna be applying the color Habit. This is a nice neutral tone. It's gonna be used as our transition color. And just going back and forth in windshield wiper motions, we're gonna be applying this onto the crease and buffing it out. Then taking another crease brush and the color Rewind. We're gonna be applying this on the outer edge of our crease and really focusing that color on the outside and then moving it inwards, or I should say pushing it inwards. And just of course keep going back and blending until you have an even distribution. But of course it's gonna be just a little bit darker on the outer corners. This is just to add some depth. And then we're just gonna be going back and buffing everything out, making sure everything is well blended. Then taking L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner in black, we're just going to be using this to tightline our upper lashes. And then taking Mary Kay's Gel Liner, we're going to be using this to apply our wing line on our top lashes. And I would just like to formally apologize now for this awkward hand position. I just found that it was really hard for me to apply this gel liner onto my right eye while looking down. Um, I usually give my lid a slight tug when applying my wing line, my wing liner, I should say. And um, I found that was the only way I could do it. So again, I'm sorry, but I really just wanted to capture this on film for you guys. So here you go again. I apologize. Ah, oh, back to normal hand position. Anyway, so after applying your liner, we're gonna be applying some falsies. I'm gonna be using Duo Lash Adhesive in Dark Tone and a pair of Ardell Curvies in 410. And just to save some time, here they are, already placed. Then going back with that L'Oreal liner, we're just gonna be lining our waterline. Then taking Tarte's Light Cameras Lashes, we're going to be using this to coat our top lashes, helping them blend into the falsies. Then to help smoke out the liner we just applied to our waterline, we're going to be going in with a smudge brush and taking again the color Habit, and we're going to be using this to just help blend out and smoke out the waterline, diffusing the color, and just make it a nice real soft effect with it. And then taking that same fluffy brush we use for our crease, again, this just helps diffuse out the color and just go back and forth. Please just take your time blending. That's really the trick to it all. And there's really no such thing as too much. Then taking Mary Kay's Moonstone, we're gonna be using this as a highlight and just applying it onto the brow bone and also onto the inner corners of our eyes. Then going back and coating our bottom lashes. And here you're gonna see I actually do a little mistake and get some on my bottom lid. You guys, if this happens to you, let it dry, go back in with a Q-tip and just flake it off, easy as that. 
Next for contour, I'm using Tarte's Amazonian Clay Matte Bronzer. This is in the shade Park Avenue Princess. And we're just going to be applying this with the Real Techniques Duo Fiber Contour Brush onto the hollows of our cheek, onto our temples, along the hairline, and also on our jawline. And with a small fluffy brush, we'll just be contouring the sides of our nose and the tip of our nose just so it still appears in photos. And then for blush, we're going to be using Bobbi Brown's Almond. And this is a really nice neutral shade. It's going to go great with the lip color I have picked out for this. And we're just taking this onto the apples of our cheeks and spreading it back towards our temples. Then for a highlight, we're using the Balm's Mary Luminizer. This highlight is super pigmented, so please be very light-handed. And I'm just applying this with a Real Techniques setting brush. I know that's kind of weird, but this is my favorite way to apply a highlight. And we're just putting this onto the high points of our cheek, Cupid's bow, the center of our chin, bridge of our nose, and the center of our forehead. And then just to make sure we have no harsh lines and everything's well blended, we're going in with the Real Techniques Duo Fiber Face Brush and just buffing everything out, making sure everything's nice and smooth. Now for lips, we're using Mary Kay's Cream Lipstick in the shade Really Red, and let me tell you, this is true to its name. And I'm just going to be putting this onto the center of my lips first, but then going back in with a small lip brush, I just find that it gives me more control and I won't have to be going back and cleaning up any lines or edges. Then going in with some Mary Kay Brow Gel and doing this step before we douse ourselves in some finishing spray. This is just going to help our makeup last all throughout the night. And this next step is optional, but to just add on to the old Hollywood glam effect, I put on a fake beauty mark with some brown mascara and then covered it up with some powder to make it more natural. And of course, no look is complete without the hair and especially for an occasion like prom. So, yeah, abracadabra. And our hair is done. So this is a complete look guys and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. So until next time, bye!